And in 1859, and again, largest one in recorded history, I mean, it, it really caused some crazy effects. I mean, think, you know, be on the top of the mountain at 1 a.m. and literally being able to read because the night sky is lit up by aurora. Aurora, okay. And in yeah. aurora at latitudes like as south as, you know, the Caribbean, you know, equatorial countries <laughs> that were literally being lit up by these massive, um, you know, uh, streamers of hot ionized gas in the upper that's atmosphere. That's what the that's what auroras are is hot ionized gas that swing yeah, through the so atmosphere. Yeah, so I mean you can think of an aurora as similar to like a fluorescent bulb, but in this case, what's happening is the energy that's being imparted to those gas molecules, the nitrogen, the oxygen, that energy that's being imparted that's making them emit light is coming from these particles coming from the sun, primarily protons. Okay. You know, when, when you see aurora, um, especially at like, you know, the, the poles, that is a good thing because that, that aurora, that glowing gas in the upper atmosphere, uh, that radiation's causing that effect and not coming down and 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 harming us. That's yeah. that's partly the magnetic field. That's partly shielding effects of the upper atmosphere. 